Hi, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my cooking channel. Today I will show you how to make hollow donuts, bánh tiêu, and I hope you will enjoy the recipe. In this bowl, I have 2 cups of flour with a pinch of salt. Now pour in a third cup of sugar, 1 teaspoon of baking powder and 1 teaspoon of yeast. Mix all the dry ingredients together and 3 quarter cup of water. Then mix everything up. Now put the spatula away. Use your hand to knead the dough for about 7 to 10 minutes. Now your dough will look like this, then plastic wrap and let it rest for about one and a half hours in the oven with the light on and close to the light. Now the dough has doubled, remove it from the oven and let's move on to the next step. If your house temperature is cold, let's say in the winter, then you probably let it sit for about two to two and a half hours. Coat the working surface with the same flour. Also, coat your hands with some flour and start kneading the dough. Use the two palms to knead the dough in opposite directions. Keep kneading for about 1 to 2 minutes. Then roll it into a log. Cut the dough into 10 pieces for 10 donuts. Then place them on a plate. Cover them up and let them sit for about 15 more minutes. After 15 minutes, coat the surface with the flour. Also coat the roller. Then press both sides of the dough slightly into the sesame seeds. Then use a roller to flatten it up to make it into a little circle shape. The thickness is about a quarter of an inch. Cover them up while frying to prevent the dough from being dried out. Use plenty of cooking oil on medium heat. Place the dough in, wait for it to float. Once it floats, flip it every 4 to 5 seconds. It will get puffy, so flip it gently. Keep on flipping until it's turning golden brown. Then take it out on a plate lined with paper towel. Let's do another one so you can see. Just to remind you that the cooking oil can't be on low or high heat because if it's too low, the donut won't puff up and if it's too high, the donut will be burnt before it puffs up. So make sure that the heat is just on medium, not too high, not too low, just on medium. So just keep flipping it around until it gets golden brown and take it out onto a plate. When I cut the donut in half, you will see that the inside is hollow. That's why it's called hollow donuts. Whether you love bread and pastries or not, you will certainly love this donut. It's healthier than the traditional sprinkled or glazed American donuts you would normally eat, while still being satisfying to your taste buds and stomach. And that's how I made the hollow donuts. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video.